is home free. The 88 pound loggerhead sea turtle has not felt the ocean breeze since last December. It washed ashore cold stunned with a lung infection and was brought to Essex County's Turtleback Zoo for rehabilitation. It's been a while, and so she's just getting the feel of the sand, acclimating to, to where she was. Prior to sea turtle recovery opening its facility in December, the threatened species needed to be transferred out of state for care, sometimes as far as North Carolina. Making history here in New Jersey. It's the first release of a turtle that has actually been taken care of and recovered in our facility. Humphrey is 12 years old, but we don't know if it is a boy or a girl until it has matured by the age of 26. The water quality and temperature was just right today at 70 degrees for Humphrey to swim back into sea life safely. It's a great time for Point Pleasant Beach in New Jersey and really exciting time for Humphrey. You know, he's going to get a chance to uh, go to the sea. A huge crowd was there to wish it well. Do you think the turtle's going to go fast or slow towards the water? Slow. Slow, why? Because he's a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Brandy Beal says this is also about education. A sea turtle's favorite food, jellyfish, which can often be mixed up with plastic. And so a lot of times they'll swallow balloons and plastics. Um, they can get caught in debris and trash. This is devastating to the species. Only one in 10,000 sea turtles will make it to adulthood. So there is a lot of work ahead to save the endangered sea turtles. The sea turtle recovery group tagged Humphrey so they can track its whereabouts. They say Humphrey is most likely to stay in New Jersey until November or December. Then it will start to head south towards warmer waters. In Point Pleasant Beach, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News. Another sea turtle is set to be released from that same place in October.